it's important to become familiar with how to operate your Flexio 570. It features a two-stage trigger. You first pull the trigger on the gun partially to start the turbine, then pull back completely to start spraying for a controlled, even pattern. Before starting your project, it's important to practice and get familiar with the sprayer. Practice on a spare piece of drywall or cardboard. Dial in the power and flow controls and spray in both the vertical and horizontal patterns. Once you're comfortable with the settings and spraying, you're ready to start your project. Remember to properly mask and cover anything that will not be painted. Take a look at the masking guide for suggestions and instructions. Pre-taped poly is another fast way to protect trim and windows. Simply tape in place, unfold and secure where needed. Point the sprayer six to eight inches away from the surface as you begin to spray evenly in a direction parallel to the surface. Remember to keep your arms straight as you spray. Avoid bending your wrists or slowing your pace because it tends to leave too much paint in one spot. To ensure full coverage, overlap each spray pass by 50%. When spraying an interior wall, start by spraying one wall at a time along the ceiling, floor, and corners. Then fill in using an up and down pattern. For other surfaces such as wood, follow the grain to achieve the best coverage and finish. During the spraying process, remember to periodically wipe off the nozzle with a damp cloth to remove any dried paint. If your surface is smaller, such as a corner or spindle, a lower volume and narrower pattern on the sprayer works best. For more intricate projects, you can also purchase the detail finish nozzle accessory. And thanks to the patented lock and go design, you can change colors or materials in a flash with a twist and release of the cup.